today we are clearing up some confusion about when Dragon Ball Daima takes place. I've seen people asking if it's set after Dragon Ball Super, during it, or even if it's all what if non-canon story or alternate in timeline. Let me break it down for you because the answer is actually pretty straightforward. Toriyama and the writers directly tell us when Daima takes place and it all comes down to Trunks' age. In the series, Trunks is celebrating his birthday, and he tells us he's now nine years old, so let's rewind. Future Trunks mentions when he'll be born, and when the androids will arrive, he says he'll be born in two and a half years, and the androids will show up three years later, which makes Trunks about six months old during the Cell Saga. We also know the Boo Saga happens seven years after that, making Trunks around seven and a half, probably closer to eight years old during that time. So what about Battle of Gods? The Daisenshu 7 guidebook gives us a timeline. The Buu Saga happens in age 774, Pan is born in age 779, and Yub appears in age 784, which is the end of Dragon Ball Z. At the end of Z, Pawn is around four, almost five years old, and we know Videl is pregnant during Battle of Gods, which likely takes place around age 778, about four years after Boo. In Battle of Gods, it's mentioned that the Dragon Balls have been used recently, which is probably referring to the wish to erase everyone's memory of Boo, made six months after his defeat. So if Trunks was around 8 during the Buu Saga and now he's turning 9 in Daima, it's safe to say Daima takes place roughly a year after Kid Buu's defeat. So why all the confusion? Mainly because of Kibito Kai's diffusion. We see them diffused later in Dragon Ball Super using the Namekian Dragon Balls while Beerus is on Earth fighting Goku. People are asking, is this a retcon? Is Daima non kind of? No, Toriyama likely wanted Supreme Kai to play a key role in Daima without being fused, so he chose to have them defuse. Does this contradict the super retcon of the Patara Fusion's one hour time limit or Boo's ability to undo Patara Fusion? Maybe. But most likely we'll see Supreme Kai and Kibito fuse again by the end of Daima, and here's what will likely hold true. One. The one hour time limit still applies if you're not a Kai too. Boo can undo Patara Fusion. 3. The Dragon Balls can also undo Patara Fusion. So in the end we can confidently say Daima is set shortly after the Boo Saga and before Dragon Ball Super. Toriyama purposely placed it in that gap between those events. Now we just have to wait and see how it all plays out. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Dragon Ball content.